Anton, what's up, buddy? What's going on, boys? We got Rhino on the night. I know. It's going to be sick. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Rhino, Rhino is badass, dude. Like, if anybody ever gets the chance to have a one-on-one conversation with him, he is a – Rhino was me in, like, 35 years. So. <laughs> I can see that. As far as, like, yeah. yeah, I'll be off the reservation. It'll be cool. Uh, hey, did I don't know. Were you listening earlier, Anton? Yes, I was. Okay, uh, so keeper, ke- I'm in full agreement with you. Thank you. I was going to bring. So, okay, so N- Diana. My, yeah. Diana. No, just Nicole. Nicole. Oh no, not for. Okay, so just Nicole as far as sneaky, sneaky in the rankings, Anton. Yes. Nicole reminds me of my chick. Yeah. So, they, and they're good friends. Like they see each other and they hang out. So yeah, that's why I think Nicole's badass. Can I get a Nicole Way talk at all going? Here's, I'm going to tell you. Nicole can I, can I, Way is badass because Nicole is so nice. Can I get like an every Ellie, time I see? Can I get an Ellie Reed comment at all? Ellie's cool. I like Ellie. Ellie's got that old school like when I was super fan into it. Yeah. Okay. I just not You're into. The, all the. I'm not into the carcass type of women. Carcass. I, I need more meat. The carcass. I don't want a carcass just with. Don't, don't, I don't need you can't fallo- refer fallopian to a woman. tubes and ribs. You can't re- <laughs> refer to a woman as a carcass. No, Come I'm, anything. Like something skinny. Like I need a little <clears throat> meat. Okay, like, that's I much better. I need some, some mm. meat so, a little mm. bit just okay. so I can grab that ass or grab the side of the stomach or just something. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> he's getting yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's doing it like, his, <laughs> and, like yeah. he's doing and it. And Nicole is beautiful. Naturally, she's beautiful, yeah, but she, I need a little thicker. For me, personality is everything. It really is. And, Absolutely, and I agree. Nicole is rad personality. I'm yes. As is Nicole Way. They're both rad personalities. Mm-hmm. So. There it is. Uh, all well and all well dressed. That's like the one thing I always talk to them about. Is like, oh yeah, well, how's your clothes? Yeah. Oh, see, I don't really Every- do much of that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I'm not big on that. Um, hey, listen. Uh, how's things in uh, St. Louis with this COVID nineteen? Yeah, okay? how, how we doing? Oh, I'm good, dude. This is great. <laughs> I'm okay. good, dude. This is great. I'm fine. I feel like he's lying, okay, dude. Okay, again. Yeah, no. Kiefer, you're worried for Anton. I'm worried because he hasn't traveled. It's not in his routine, and I know how he is, and it is not good. Like, he needs um, he needs hey, some of this. Buddy. I, uh, okay, I'm, if, you, if anybody's ever watched, like, King of the Hill, I'm very much Dale Gribble, and that whole, like, the apocalypse is near at any time. Yeah, you so, are. Like, yeah, yeah. This is all just in my wheelhouse, but then... I'll be honest, like, yeah, it sucks. Like, the last two weekends, of maybe three weekends, like two weeks ago and this past weekend, you just sit here and you think about going to the races, and I watched old races. Like, I watched Tom Jernett's Team Fried thing, and I'm at a bunch of those races that are in there. And I'm like, God, I just want to go back to the races so bad. Like, I just want to go see that shit, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, there are some days that it's awesome, and I'm like, okay, hey, this is fine, and St. Louis is great, and it's good to be home. And there's other days where I'm like, yeah, can we go? Like, anytime, please, can we go? Um, I told somebody today, and I don't take this the wrong way, Anton, because you're, you're a buddy. Never. Boy, but we were talking about the races getting started, and I said, I'm in between Anton and Trump. Like, Anton's, <laughs> Anton's like, the <laughs> world is ending. Spectrum. There's no more races going on. Everybody buckle down. Uh, Armageddon is here. And Trump is like, this is a, bull- this is a f- bullshit hoax virus. <laughs> right. I said, I'm in the middle. Days. I'm right. I'm yeah. kind of like we got to get things going. Right. We got to f- get things opening we gotta up. Got to be careful. But we this be is careful. this is yeah. serious. Yeah, time. this is serious. There's people really dying. So I said, Anton to Trump, what's my what's my meter? And I'm in the yeah. middle. That's fair. That's very. That's two very broad ends of the spectrum. So um, because, like, listen though, if the, and I brought this up today, I'm I want Supercross to start before motocross. It's logical. It makes sense. Mm-hmm. And I want things to Total get going. Thing. But dude, you you show up at Glendale. You're not quarantining these guys for the whole time. Like I'm, that's not going to happen. You're no. you are not going to tell these athletes you cannot practice right. this whole time. That's not going to happen. So, athletes are coming and going. People are spreading this thing potentially. You're yes, people have masks on, and yes, there'll be limited people there. And I get it. Someone gets this thing, and we've seen perfectly healthy people die from this. They're, you look in the news. It it they're, they're, people are like, my brother died. He was 38 years old. You know, blah blah blah. Someone dies from this. Heaven forbid. And now we live in this America that loves to litigate things. Mm. Feld is opening themselves up for a big thing here, and I just cannot see how this is going to work, Anton. That's where I'm at. Like, in the fall, sure, but I cannot see it now. So, and see, that's, like, this is where everybody thinks I'm all doom and gloom. Dude, I'm not being doom and gloom. I'm being illogical. Like, you have to think, 
if Feld gets opened up to a lawsuit, then then what's to say the teams don't? Because you said that my employee, I'm a 1099 contracted yeah. employee, and you said I had to go. I, so then, when you get in trouble, then you get to sue the team or whatever. Well, okay, the, if it's, Fel- all of it, the whole infrastructure thing, you're just so wide open to issues. Dude, Feld will have you sign your life away, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. And the other issues that this presents, like the whole spring training thing that's been milled about. Yeah, they live on campuses there. There's laundry there. They do yeah, food yeah, yeah, and cleaning. Yeah, yeah. Like that's not the same. That's thing. a that's when a you, union. That's a prefer, that's a union agreement totally. between players and, and the league. And they can do that. They can bring their families in, sit in these resorts, and quarantine the shit out of them. That's totally different. Uh huh. And then what? Let's say that we do get everybody at one hotel, and then everybody has to meter their time in and out of the gym. So then we just spread a staph infection or ringworm like at the high school wrestling team, like around each other. Like, dude, they're just there's so, there are so many things that you're just like, oh my god, this yeah. one issue could spawn 25 more that you never I just, even expected. I hope they do it. I want them to do it, but this thing just seems, you know. Uh, Have you heard any? Yeah, I, I'm very like flip a coin on it. Like, is it going to happen? Is it not? They're going to try to make it happen. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen in the middle of May. I think it'll happen later than that. Yeah, a couple weeks delayed. But um, I think they're really going to make it happen. Do you think, and this is just a broad question, this is both to both of you, Steve and Anton, do you think this thing has blown up too far as far as people staying home and just don't do anything? What do you mean too far? Like, all right, we've been doing this for how long now? You think it's, uh, like you said, you're in the middle somewhere, but do you think like, okay, hey, now it's up to each individual to take care of his or herself? Like, if you're scared and you think you might get sick or infect someone yeah, yeah, you yeah. love, stay, home. stay the fuck home. Right. But if you want to live and do your thing, wash your hands, wear the mask, go out and live your life. Marx, do you think from – Marx is, like, super smart with stocks and trades and this stuff. Yeah. Like, is there a tipping point for the economy, Marx, here? The, uh, oil, the oil ships are backed up outside the port at Long Beach. Oil is gnarly. Right. Because they are not using oil. Right. The oil one, that's that's a long game that they've been planning out for a few months too. So what happens yeah. not a, like like I, I I honestly don't know. Yeah, I I'm Well back to you. I'm just kinda watching. <laughs> you <laughs> pumped him up too much. I, did. I, I know. Dude. I totally pumped him up. I thought he would have an answer. <laughs> I'm not a, a genius economist or anything, but uh, I kinda just go with the uh, price action and, and follow that. But yeah, I don't I don't have the answers, honestly. Like like I just How think are you gonna live your life? What would what are you gonna do? If if Feld said, Okay, we're on you can come, Steve, but hey, you have to sign a waiver or whatever. I'm just yeah, throwing something yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah. It's up to you. What th- are you doing? I think I'm wearing a mask and gloves and going. Okay. Anton? I'm 100% there. Uh, yeah. That's... Andy, Andy what would you, how would you feel? Um, yeah, I would wear a mask for sure yep. and gloves. I'm not that paranoid, really. I always think about if I get it and, you know, maybe it sounds crazy, but if you get it and something happens, like it's, you were meant to be. I mean, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. the way it is. Right, but right. I, I mean, now I think we just need to get back to the problem I have and, and you know, to go on a, a stupid Andy story. But the <laughs> problem I have is traveling. You know, you travel. Yeah. I travel. I watch these people all day long go into the bathrooms in, in, in hotels and in uh, airports and don't wash their hands. If everyone would just start yeah. taking a little hygiene. Yeah we probably wouldn't be as bad, but people just, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. they act like it's never going to happen to them. And, and you watch them and you say like, dude, wash your hands. Like yeah, what's yeah, the yeah. deal? I don't right. want to touch that door after you did. And if, and if everyone would just do that for yep. now, yep. I think we would, you know, we probably could get back to, to life as it was. I, I think the mass thing's going to be a while because you just never know who's out there that coughs behind yeah, you. Yeah, and then yeah. you get some yeah. thing, you know? So uh, I, I hate it. Believe you me, when I go into a store and I forget my mask half the time and I have to go back to my car and get it yeah. and I walk back in like like feel like a real idiot. But um, I think for a while we're going to have to do that. I mean, I can't wait like here in Vegas, like where we live in the desert when it's 110 and you have a mask on. You can't, yeah, you can't, can't yeah. breathe anyway. Right. And now you really can't breathe. So I, I, I don't know, Anton. I, I was <laughs> I'm, I'm more skeptical of them pulling off than 50 50, like you said. I'm very way more skeptical, but I think well, it's like s- a coin toss at this point. You said coin toss. That's 50-50. No, like, like I think it's going to come down to a coin toss of like, hey, you think this is going to happen or not? But mm-hmm. like personally, I don't think, I don't think it's going to happen, and I haven't thought it's going to happen for a bit. And and again, 
I know everybody's trying. Like I know that there's so much more that would benefit all of us because like even you and I, our income is solely is not solely but largely decided on if racing is happening or not. You know, I want to go I want it to happen. But it's just like it, we get so caught up into certain things. Like, dude, you get those trucks out there, that's gonna be a couple hundred thousand dollars for everybody all together. And then to say, Hey, never mind, can't do it, we're gonna have to try this again later, like just so many things could go wrong. I yeah. gotta I wasn't going to say this, but I have a person that works over there at the stadium in Phoenix, and he's higher up, and I know him pretty good. I've known him for a while. Hold on. In Phoenix? Yeah. And oh, it's a secret friend you have? Yes. you got a secret friend. And he, secret friend. He, he, he knows a little bit. He doesn't know yeah. much about moto, yeah, yeah. but I've talked to him about this situation, and he, go, he laughed. He's like, that's not happening. That's no way it's going to happen. <laughs> well, I know that the Glendale people are different than the Phoenix people. Yeah. Glendale is a separate suburb, and they're separate government and mayor and all that. And mm -hmm. the Phoenix guys are like, no, nothing's happening. And then the Glendale people are aggressive. But, uh, yeah, hey, Anton, so did Swap Moto cut your pay, or are you good to go? No, I'm all good, man. Yeah, okay. It's the usual. Um, if anything, like – busier than ever uh -huh. and then now this is opening up to where i'm going to try to go get a bike in the next few weeks and then do some riding around here what mm -hmm. hell yeah 125 yeah 125 i tried i think i'm getting a 252 stroke whoa uh anton yeah. be careful i'm gonna i'm gonna gear it down All i'm right. gonna put a rag in, i'm gonna put a rag in the air box I'm gonna probably <laughs> put a washer over the inlet of the uh exhaust port yeah all that yeah yeah um as a as another media guy, um, what do you, is how how bad are you struggling for content right now? I mean, Keith, for you you test things and you ride, so it's a little different for you. But like for us at Racer X and for Pulpa Mex and like like we're struggling. Like we're doing a we're doing a draft of riders on Racer X right now. <laughs> um, you know. Well, I have enough stuff. Like since we're a smaller staff than you guys, I like, have enough like weekly responsibilities that I got to check off. And there have been some times where I'm like, oh man, what like what am I gonna write or what can't I write? But like what you guys were talking about with Dean earlier, people just want to hear stories right now. So even if you just come up with some little story, like some little antidote or whatever yeah. about something you have, dude, people love it. Yeah. So it's like, oh, yeah, you know what? Watch Terra Firma. Watch an old race. Watch something, and you could find out a lot about a lot. Yeah, Andy, um, you watched the championship, right? Yeah, it's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's so awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So there's enough stuff, I think, too, even. Like it's a good time for guys to get creative. You'll see – you know, when, when you and I did that podcast a couple months ago before all this even started, we all said, like, the cream's going to rise at the top at some point, and you'll find out who the good creative people are and who yeah. aren't, and I think now is the time of that for, for at least some part. It's, uh, it's awesome that the people that I, I don't know about – well, I guess you guys don't hear much about it, but people are really appreciative that we're keeping this show going. It's really yeah. neat to get the DMs and the mm -hmm. YouTube stuff. Like, people are like, thank you for keeping it going. Like, somehow we've – be able to fill four and a half, five hours of quad talk and moto talk and mm -hmm. and like it just work. It's working out, and I, I think it's cool. People want it. People seem appreciative. The thing about yeah. racing and racers and people that listen to the show, we're all bench racers. Exactly. We've all what done it, said. and it's yeah. just talking about dirt bikes right. in general yeah. is a great show. Yeah. I think. I mean, you can attest to this. One of our best shows, I feel like, is when we all raced the World Vets mm -hmm. and we and then, all yeah, sat and bullshitted about show. it. That was a fun. That was a fun time. So. Um, uh, yeah, no, people people love that show. That was an all timer. Get, people yeah. said, yeah. I get the same thing. Like people are appreciative. Like I'm still testing stuff. Like, yeah. oh, thanks yeah. for testing stuff. I need something to read, yep. or I want to buy a part still. So, uh, Anton, do you get the sense in talking to teams, they really want to get this Supercross thing done before outdoors? Like really, really, really? Oh, yeah. yeah, me too. Like really yeah. bad. Yeah, because which I get. On, right. Oh, totally. It makes. On every way, it makes more sense. You know, you don't want to have some guy that's in a good position and then he go gets hurt at some point this summer and then all that work all year has been for nothing. Yeah. You know, and, and the benefit that they get. I mean, everybody knows Supercross is the power in American on the American side of things. So that's where all their investment's at, too. What's going to happen in Motocross the Nations? It's got to be called off, right? It's not oh. going to happen. Dude, and honestly, that's what I got so like upset about this weekend. Uh, I, there's this really good Woodstock documentary on Netflix. And it's just hundreds of thousands of people. It's that first one. And I'm like, dude, that's what the Motocross the Nations is. I, like, yeah. I finally understand that this is Woodstock reference. Everybody's yeah. there just to have a good time. Right. I was like, shit, I'm not going to see that this year. No. That sucks. No, I can't. There's no way it can happen. It's still on the, the calendar. It's still on the calendar. But, dude, no, no way. No way. I, can't, I can't see it. There's just, not no. if it splits the series. There's no way. Right. Well, it's splitting it right now, yeah. for sure. They got so many yeah. pushed back, right? Um, and so, if... 
What are the chances, Ant? I'm gonna I'm gonna break this down. For We're you, not Anton. going to Europe. We're not going. I'm gonna break this down to you for you, Anton. That's fine. You're the only one that really cares about that, Anton. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna break this down for you, Anton. Give me percents here, okay? Mm-hmm. Percent we get Supercross in for in mid May and eleven nationals in your eyes. Like two. Percent <laughs> percent we get two percent Supercross in and like eight nationals. Sixty. Percent we get ne- we don't start till the nationals and Supercross goes in the fall. Ninety. Yeah. You guys agree, yeah. Andy? So. Yeah. If if fans can't come to outdoor nationals, oh, they won't have them. They're, they're not doing. No, it. they gotta have them. Yeah, yeah, they got. It. That's how. That's how you make money. Supercross is different. Yeah. Outdoors is fan base. Period. Right. That's it. I said this to the team owner I was talking to today. I said to him, "Hey, all you team owners, the fact that Fell wants to get these seven races in with no fans, okay, must tell you how much money they get from NBC." For their for their TV deal, mm-hmm. right. because they're listen, they're not going to make jack shit with no fans. Right. So where are they making their money? Why are they so insistent on finishing seven races? Because the TV money that none of you team owners are a part get. of are a part of. Yeah. Right. So if, to me, as a team owner, your antenna should be up and like, why Feld? You're a for profit company, right. which is great. Feld Pulpamex is a for profit company too. You're so desperate to get these in. You must be making a lot of money off TV, mm-hmm. right, Anton? And uh, the team owner I was talking to today was like, "Yeah, I guess you're right." Yeah, the f- dude, and like that's a whole other can of worms because, not to say like, "Hey, man, you really got to go take advantage of anybody," but just like we were at last year after the San Diego incident happened, now is the time where everybody's pretty much on an even platform. If there was ever a chance to eliminate that whole us versus them mentality yeah. that yeah. that those two sides of the sports have, now is the time. Like, you just go do it. And you don't go try to get vindictive with anybody or, or no, try to yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just you got to figure it out now because there's no other chance where you guys are all on the same plane. You know, not saying union, not saying this, but just association, represent, representation, something where everybody's on a little bit more of an even platform from time to time. Yeah. But yeah, I agree because yeah. that's how any other, like I know you don't watch it really, but that's how F1 is. They all have a, a stake in anything that comes in. That's how Bernie Ecclestein got into F1 is that he did all the TV rights. Well, dude, listen, that's how the Pre- Pre- Bull Riders Association works. That's how F1, that's how uh, uh, MotoGP works. That's mm-hmm. how cart guys work. These owners come to the table with the sanctioning body and say, okay, guys, what's the TV money? What's the dates? Where's the venues? They all get together. Not in our sport. We got to be what? The fifth or sixth biggest motorsport in America? Like you, F1's bigger. Uh, NASCAR, obviously, but, but just like American in um, the United States racing, we're probably series, second. Yeah, top. Are we second? No, 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 no. Who would be you're, ahead no, of us? IndyCar. Oh, I feel like we're bigger than IndyCar. Nope. Money that gets brought into IndyCar, no. Their, their TV package is the only reason that those races are going to happen this year. Really? Okay, I thought we were bigger than them. Okay, anyways, we're third or fourth, let's say. Right. And literally, the owners and riders have no say. Right. It's incredible. Which is weird. Yeah. It's so weird. weird. Yeah. What, what, why? And, but why and, is it? Why it cause, those... cause, because companies like Andy's Husqvarna. Okay. Now, listen, here's, and I've said this a hundred times. Coy Gibbs and Mike Genova and Mitch Payton have a 100% different reality than KTM, Husqvarna, Honda, Kawasaki. They're spending millions to market their motorcycles. Right. Coy Gibbs and Mitch Payton are trying to make some money. Right. Genova. They're trying to make some money. KTM and Honda don't give a shit about Coy Gibbs' profitability. We're marketing. Right. We're, this is a sunk cost. In NASCAR or anything, there's individual team owners. There's no right. OEMs. There's right. no Ford. There's no GM. So it's a it's a it's a apples to oranges hmm. uh, team. Now, but having said that, the OEMs I believe should get together and and be like, hey, we're gonna help this sport. As you know, you think about the OEMs. They pay all the bonus money. Okay. Mm-hmm. They pay all the all the salaries. They provide the equipment and the staff. Like, what do they get back? Right. They Perfect. show up, fold open their tent, spend millions, and don't bring one thing back in. Promoters are making the money. TV's making the money. T-shirt guys are making the money. Hmm. If you're Kawasaki or Honda or Husqvarna, you're like, what are we doing? Right. Riders aren't making well, the money either. No. So. Like, it's a whole backwards plan. And Coy Gibbs and Mike Genova are like, shit, man, I hope I make 100 grand. Right. I hope I make 50 and- grand or whatever. The thing that goes with that, too, is 
we all have a common objective. I mean, yeah, it's to make money and all that stuff, but at the same time, we all know, and Andy will agree with this, we're just trying to get people on bikes. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Like if you, all of this is for nothing if we're not trying to get people on bikes. Right. And that, I think, is the most important thing about this time that we're in right now. You have to figure out how you're going to get people back on bikes and into this thing. Yeah. And they are going to have to do that. For the, for the brands and the promoter, dude, they have so much space and so much that they could do because all of them are all working on their own separate project to get people to come together to start riding, except yeah. they're just not doing it together. And I will say that kudos to Feld because I believe they have that ro- learn to ride thing in the pits and Supercross mm-hmm. and I think they rotate it with the OEMs. Maybe they pay. I don't know if they pay or not. Have you ever seen that Kawasaki Honda thing? They yeah. get the little pit bikes? Right. I think they pay. Well, oh, you do pay? Yeah, the OEMs yeah, oh. pay into that. We did it. it's different with, oh, everyone. Yeah. Oh, see, I thought it was like, hey guys, we're going to set this. Okay, never mind. So they're making money <laughs> yeah, on that. Yeah. Okay, never mind. So yeah. Feld's making money on, the, on teaching Everywhere. the little kids how to ride. Okay, got it. I honestly thought it was a, a joint thing, like, hey, help us promote bikes. No. Okay. All right. Never mind. Yeah. So, and that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. everybody has a different initiative that they're trying to do. Like, we all just have to have one common initiative. Like, look at wow. any kind of professional, like, mainstream sport. It's all, like, NFL has a punt, pass, and kick or whatever else and, they're doing. Yeah. Like, and even you the, just gotta the, NAS- one thing. the NASCAR drivers, half of their purse money goes to the team. There's yeah. a, there's a, or, or whatever amount they negotiate. Like, you know, the, the riders, they just, get everything right and and they should get a lot and there's very there's probably what 15 guys really making over half a million dollars in a sport yeah i don't think that much i think yeah. there's probably 15 would you count 250 guys uh, okay yeah right that's as i would say so that's close yeah even with 250 yeah, yeah, yeah anyways so maybe anton this whole thing gets everybody on the same page i don't know good luck with that i don't but. think it's not <laughs> anton's we're after. honestly we're this far into it and yeah. we're still fighting on when we're going to have races. Like, I, I get it. Racing is important because that puts money in everybody's pockets, like, short term. I get it. But at the same time, like, I even asked Prater this a couple weeks ago, and he, and he said they're planning for 21 and beyond. But, like, when I posed that question to him, it's like a larger question to everybody of what are we going to do to come away from this to where we're not in the same dire straits uh, in the next economic problem. Nothing, because, like, we nothing, have nothing. We're nothing, not going to do anything. Nothing. Right. It's, uh, we're going to be completely forgotten about it because we have the attention span of, like, five-year-olds. Right. And then we're going to be on to the next thing. A- and, and Andy, it's over. for as long as you've been racing pro, how many times have the teams bitched about promoters and riders bitched about teams, right? Like, yeah, 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 all, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, I want to raise something here. Okay. We're, I feel like most – and maybe you know more about this. I feel like most people that are within the OEMs come from some sort of dirt bike background and not a scholastic background. <laughs> Correct. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> and all dirt bikers, we're all similar beings. We're all very similar creatures. And that, just like what Anton said, our short-term memories are all the same. Like, yeah. we, we see what's in front of us. We want to have fun. We want to do something that we enjoy doing. I want to make my money. I want to go home, and I want to live my life. That is why I think none of this is going to change because I don't think we have someone out there that we've talked about before can well, collaborate all of this and push it You were it in to studio g- with Steve Astafin. Right. He brought up many good points. You were very impressed yes. with Steve. The only problem is with that, it's got to be somebody that's completely neutral. Yeah. Right. Everybody yeah. at some point already has a cross thought or like a, a false impression or a bad impression of somebody else in the past. Yeah. So it's very hard to find like a completely clean negotiator to come in and be like, yeah, this is what we're going to do. The thing that I personally think that goes along with all this I think that we took the agenda, like the angle that the sport was covered in, the wrong direction like seven years ago. Like with how gnarly and like, yeah, these dudes are super athletic. Like we get it. You know what I mean? But every documentary or every TV thing you saw or every interview was just like, yeah, this guy overcame this gnarly issue. And it's like, if you're trying to sell that to middle America, why would you voluntarily tell them like, yeah, your kid's totally going to get broken off if you put him on a 65. Yeah. That's the wrong way to go about like it. Like show Roxon's injury 8,000 times? Right. A million sure. times. Right. But look at like 2000, 2001, 2002. Bro, they had that thing so dialed in because it was the sexy, like bitchin' alternative sport that you could get into. It was a little bit dangerous, but the guys were cool. Like it was flashy enough. It, we got to go back to that, hey, this is cool thing. Like, we're fit and we get it, but yeah. we're not trying to be anything else that we're not. Let the stick and ball guys go do all that. 
You yeah, know? I, I, listen, this has been 10 years of Pulp Mech Show and 10 years of me screaming about this. And the OEMs and the teams need to get together. They, the riders won't. Forget it. They're too young. They're too dumb. It's not going to happen. The adults in the room, the team owners, the OEM people, get together, get your shit handled, and, and get in and get some – Get some uh, help for yourself. I've always said, like, hey, if I field three riders for your series, I get payment for three guys. Right. You know, for how many races I show up and bring our three guys or whatever, you know, something to help these teams out. And Anton's dog agrees. Yep. You see always. 15 years from now we're doing the same thing? Yes. Yeah. Okay. 100%. <laughs> Andy, Andy's yeah, been two, around for as long yeah, as any of us. <laughs> it's, it's two, one, one mind they just this is what we do yeah and nobody yeah. wants to change it nobody but will take the bull by the horns and you say, gotta think and even like even mitch payton has said years ago all the oem should get together and put their purse money into the and put their money bonus money into purses and be like you want to make your money you race for it here's the right. breakdown we're all going to put our purses together and and here's the breakdown for every race instead we're getting we're showing off whole shot checks for like a thousand dollars Right. I think about like I also think about the racers and I know we've talked about this before too but like just the privateer kids I see them every day they're busting their ass and we've talked yeah. about guys like A Ray what's his end game like he works his ass just off to be on SWAT Moto Live I think but that's what I'm saying like he works his balls off he rides he trains he risks his life I, he's not going to be able to retire off of a fucking dirt bike he talk, he's making about and 50k see, a year he's making about yeah, 50k and, but that's not going to honestly oh, it's not go ahead Anton yeah. I, like, and I think that's the other thing too. We're such a weird thing that we can't be apples to oranges because there's only so many spots in the NFL. There's guaranteed, hey, we need this many guys to play this many games on this many teams. So you know what your limit is. Any guy with a pro license and however much money it is for an entry fee can show up on Saturday. So then it gets harder to negotiate for that many people's rights and responsibilities and all that stuff and their equal share in this because it's not the same number week to week to week to week. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I think the other thing that goes along with that in all of those programs at a high level sport, like super high level, they have some kind of at least planning to where they can help you. Hey, financially, here are some people you could get with. We don't have like a financial advisor no. overseeing some stuff. Only a few guys do. And that's when they reach like a certain threshold. Yeah. So it's not, it's very hard to negotiate and get the well being of everybody taken care of when you don't know how many people it is week to week. This is how good writing is, right? Writing is so fun. It fucking brainwashes you to be like, I'm going to spend all of my money that I earn, all and I'm going to put it back in right. so I can keep fucking doing it for free. Right. <laughs> yeah. And, and yeah. Steve, as you talk like the mini, think about the mini kids out there that their parents are just spending dollar on yeah. dollar on dollar. Just chasing and it. And then chasing it, as you say, and then they don't make it. Yeah. Well, now you're 500 grand in the hole. Yeah. What do you do? Yeah. You know? No, absolutely. The whole... The whole thing needs to be taken and shooken like a snow right, globe right. to me and, and fixed. But good luck with that, Anton. So, um, well, thanks for coming on, buddy. Appreciate it. Thank you for the time tonight. Hope thanks for having us. I hope to see all you guys soon. I hope so too, but I doubt it. Uh, I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you canceled your trip to Vegas here, right? You and Megan were coming out, I'm but bummed. yeah, that's that's I'm done. Bummed. That was going to be my first vacation ever. So, <laughs> without, <laughs> without a dirt bike. So, Kiefer, yes. before the yeah. show, yes. you said to me you were worried about Anton. I was. How do you feel? Now? I feel like he's in a good spot. Okay, right now. all right. I no feel worry. like now all that right. I've heard okay. his right. voice yeah. and how he's talking, I feel like we're okay. <laughs> okay, all right. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm going to be, Sergio going to be all right. I'm going to be yeah. a okay. Uh, I have you enough. You know what like, that? Yeah, okay. if you ever watched uh, uh, Get Him to the Greek with P. Diddy, yeah. oh, Sergio going to be all right. Okay. Fuck a recession. But, uh, yeah, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. You know? I got fucking kookaroos. 21. I, I got 21, 21 kookaroos. It's a good movie. People love chicken. It's a good movie. Uh, <laughs> Swap Moto Lives, Michael Antonovich, brought to you by Skosh. Pulp 2020 is the code to save it, Skosh. Hold on. What? Oh. Don has a vlog. How come we can't get an Anton vlog? That'd be fun. Nobody wants to see that. I fucking beg to differ. I think it'd be the great. Only th okay, here's the thing. Like, people don't understand me. <laughs> at all they don't so no, do they don't. people Even understand more? rhino but we follow rhino that's the thing like <laughs> yeah but rhino won races and was a factory rider it yeah they just matter. see yeah. me and they're just like yo what is this dude's problem yeah because <laughs> yeah. it comes off like a lot of mental illness because it kind of is I, so. as i as i said I, i'm between anton and trump that's what i told somebody today <laughs> so i'm right there yeah 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 i'm better on twitter it's okay <laughs> You're kind of a doomsday a little bit, but that's okay. That's fine. I, yeah, I said that. I, I, yeah. Honestly, dude, I made peace with that when I was like 11 years old. I'm like, yeah, end, of, I, end of the world coming one day. Just write it out. 
<laughs> All right. Thank, hey, I, I think I'm going on Swap Moto Live next week. So. Oh, yeah. Are you? Okay, sick. Or this week? You said Friday. Uh, I don't uh, know. I'm in. Mean, I'm 2,000 miles removed from all yeah, that. Yeah, I think I'm know. going on the on, on the show, the video show, like my face and everything. So yeah. Oh. I'll do that. Okay, yeah. sick. All right. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Anton. See you guys. All right. Later. See you later. Uh, let's hold off on JT for one second. Let's get to see phone calls. We got a lot of phone calls here, and then JT's coming up right away. Uh, James is on for uh, fly racing question. James, what's up, man? Hey guys, how's it going? Please, Keith, for a 